what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna talk about mike flanagan's i know what you did last summer in this video here again today we'll go back over the plot i'll go over these comments jeff howard made his co-writer with bloody disgusting back in 2021 or so we're gonna go back over the plot and then we're gonna talk about the alleged ending that we could have gotten or at least one of 15 potential endings we could have gotten because actually according to mike flanagan who had an interview with bloody disgusting about the project during the 2010s he is the one who brought up the fact that there was like 15 drafts that existed he said oh yeah like 15 well he's not saying it is in fact 15 he said oh yeah like 15 drafts of that script exists from what i understand where that project is is that the producers and the studio were thrilled with the script and they were just getting started trying to figure out how to proceed with it so let's now shift gears into talking about jeff howard's interview that he had with had on uh the phantom limb back in 2021 with bloody disgusting and go over the story for i know what you did last summer that him and flanagan cooked up and then again talk about one of these very dark potential endings we could have gotten that would have had us talking about it for years so the screenplay would have opened in antigua wasting no time in introducing our main characters you have matt canton our lead his younger sister lauren kyle his best friend and jenna his ex-girlfriend the quartet are on vacation celebrating the summer after graduation before everyone disbands for college in the fall as with the original i know what you did last summer there is an opening celebration teens drinking eventually doing drugs and a dead body which kicks off a mystery and a number of ensuing murders now in the story's first act matt meets a young woman named christy stratton and spends time with her and it's an antiguan cave system amidst throngs of fellow teenage partiers matt is drugged by well-meaning kyle just before he and christy steal away for a romantic interlude in an offshoot cave just as things begin to heat up for the young lovers the drugs in matt's system overtake him causing the young man to hallucinate before he finally comes to in an antiguan police station being violently questioned about the now missing christy one year later we discover that matt has since been extra extradited and imprisoned in the u.s with christy's disappearance her presumed murder and matt's ensuing trial having captured the nash the nation's attention so like i stated that you have some form of true crime aspect here we learn that kyle his friend testified against matt while jenna now heads up an uber popular serial style podcast on the case called i know what you did last summer the title in part refers to the mantra constantly invoked to the media circus surrounding the trial by donald stratton christie's heartbroken and vengeful father matt is eventually found not guilty and freed only to find himself terrorized by scrawled messages bearing the phrase i know hounded by stratton and his thuggish right hand man porter and being stalked by a shadowy figure in a hooded raincoat before long that very figure begins picking off various characters in increasingly violent and inventive ways all as matt finds himself facing antagonists at every turn slasher set pieces red herrings and shocking revelations abound as the story barrels toward a jaw dropper of an ending which inevitably unveils the story's true killer and their surprising motivation now howard goes on to note in this sit down with bloody disgusting that we had two really hard sales in our pitch to them basically we wanted to focus on a singular lead the strange thing was we had never written anything together that had a guy lead before it was a real it was really different for us another idea that influenced me was thinking about wilkie collins the detective fiction writer and his adherence to ever shifting narratives involving unreliable narrators the idea for us was what if we don't have an unreliable narrator but what if we have a narrator of the story who can't say for sure but is absolutely dead certain they know what happened but there would always be an element of mystery to that person who had singularly experienced the event at the center of the movie the other obstacle was the entire thing in our mind was designed around a really cool trick ending that got us really excited like a real witness for the prosecution style nod of an ending where something comes and blows things up in a way that you couldn't have or that you could have seen all along but you never would have seen it that kind of deal it was just so much fun but it was a big controversial ending from the very moment of the pitch literally i think 99 percent of the interest from me and mike was that ending it was really cool to us so what was this ending well allegedly the dark twist ending would have included a twist within a twist 
The first big twist would be that Kyle wasn't well-meaning when he secretly slipped Matt the hallucinatory drugs. He intentionally drugged Matt so that he could follow Matt and Christy into the caves and kill Christy while Matt was slipping in and out of consciousness. Kyle would have been the killer throughout the film. He testifies against Matt in the trial to ensure that no one would have suspected he could have played a role. This is all revealed during the final act where Matt and his sister would have eventually killed Kyle. Now the twist within the twist on top of this, which would have been revealed in a way that is very similar to the ending of Wild Things, is that Matt, our final guy and protagonist, was completely in on it from the beginning to the end. He and Kyle were serial killers who loved the thrill of almost being caught. They wanted to have a trial, to have a huge media circus, all of it. Matt takes Christy into the cave knowing that Kyle will murder her. Kyle didn't secretly give Matt hallucinatory drugs as Matt had instructed him to do so prior to the murder. Kyle only testified against Matt because Matt instructed him to do so. Matt was eventually found not guilty because they had prepared evidence prior to the murder that would have exonerated him, which Kyle planted while, Ma, while, while Matt was locked up. The big irony is that for how many people believe they knew what Matt did last summer, the reality is that no one apart from Kyle had or ever will have any clue. The bad guy is brought to justice Kyle, but the bad guy also gets away with it. Matt. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, it's very similar to Mickey from Scream 2, but taken a step further because they actually got to have their trial. I absolutely loved this alleged ending. So it's unfortunate we never got to see Mike Flanagan's iteration of I Know What You Did Last Summer, but it shifts the narrative enough while still paying homage or paying respect to what that original movie was by having a nod to the fisherman look and then doing its own thing. That would have been very iconic. Again, I say alleged and I stress that this is alleged, but this is one of the alleged endings that could have been for Mike Flanagan's I Know What You Did last summer, in which we would have found out that our protagonist male lead, who we would have thought to believe that throughout the movie he's innocent, was 100% guilty the whole time. And it's very dark considering what he put that girl's father through. He already knew he was in on it, and yet you have that girl's father heartbroken harassing you and you're getting off on it very sick ending you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below what do you think about mike flanagan's i know what you did last summer if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video